Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, I was about to sleep because I'm not feeling well, but when I saw the comment made by William Samoy Ruto Wiley in Nakuru County, as far as those who are sponsoring protest in this country, I said, no, this one, you have to speak about it, and let it, let it go on record here on this page that indeed, we also weigh in on the same issue. We have heard the youth, Gen Z, who has been who have been on our street protesting and we know tomorrow they will be on the street Tuesday and Thursday the demand is for fair governance zero corruption finance bill rejection and now it's all about Ruto must go <laughs> now with this we've seen we are Ruto making claims that there are specific individuals they used to say outsiders that we have individuals who are responding to protest in this country and is putting a blame on the Ford Foundation. That protest was sponsored by Ford Foundation, that is William Bruto. This is a United States of America uh, NGO based. We have no use for anarchy and violence and destruction of property and loss of life. Wale ambao wana sponsor hiyo violence. Sisi tunawajua. And I want to call out those who are behind the anarchy in Kenya. Those who are behind the sponsoring the chaos in the Republic of Kenya. Shame on them. Because they are sponsoring violence against our democratic nation. Mimi nataka niulize watu wa Ford Foundation watuambie. Iyo pesa wanatoa, wanatoa ifanye fujo ndio wapate faida gani. We are going to call them out and we are going to tell them if they are not interested in democracy in Kenya, if they are going to sponsor violence, if they are going to sponsor anarchy, we are going to call them out and we are going to tell them they either style up or they leave. Now, it is also good we look on the energy that William Ruto is making uh, remarks about or allegation to understand really what has been the relationship between this energy and William Ruto and above all. Is his claims holding the water or the just mere statement that Ruto is always used to? But before we go into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. To all the subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this. Discussion. Now, you look at William Ruto's statement, you wonder, is he, you know, um, issuing this statement out of fear? Or what is going on? Because now <laughs> I've seen William people now telling William Bruton that they are demanding for quality propaganda. This one <laughs> is not quality one. Because now, if you are claiming that it is an NGO that is sponsoring protest in this country, are you telling us that it is now the push by this NGO to sponsor the protest that pushed you to a corner to dissolve your cabinet? Or what I say, how does this one sound? That NGO sponsored protest that pushed pushed you to a corner to dissolve your cabinet. What are you telling people? I look at that, then I wondered: Is it out of fear? Is it truthful? Or they are just touching on anything they feel um, out of that statement? They can now, you know, gain some relevance. Because if we have reached a point where an NGO can sponsor protest that pushes someone to a corner, you dissolve your government, then it means, indeed, you, you, know, you are not in charge. You are so scared. You are talking about Kenyan democracy, that they will not allow people to undermine our democracy. Then we asked questions. You know, you're talking about democracy in a country where youth are being abducted, tortured, and killed. Which democracy is that? Those are some of the questions. In a democratic country, there is no torture, there is no abduction, there is no killing. If you believe that people have, you know, uh, break the law or committed a crime, arrest them. Present them in a court of law. Let the judge make a sound judgment. 
That is it. But then we look at the, you know, Ford Foundation. Eh? Ford Foundation is an NGO aligned to Democratic Party. Party of President Joe Biden. A man who invited William Ruto to the United States at White House for a state visit about two months ago. So what is he saying? <laughs> it's really even complicating things. And by the way, William Ruto even had a photo with the Ford Foundation president, Darrell Walk. He had a photo with him during the U.S. visit. So people are wondering, what are you telling us? Okay. Now, again, this is what was shared by um, the Ford Foundation president, Darren Wanka. I am humbled and honored to have been invited to celebrate U.S. Kenya relations at last night historic White House State dinner hosted by President Biden and Dr. Biden in honor of President William Ruto and First Lady Rachel Ruto, proud to continue building on the legacy of Ford Foundation's 60 years in East Africa. Partnership across borders will be essential to ensure we can unlock the opportunities that should be open to all. He took a photo at the White House and that information he shared. Same man also met William Root. Beside this, there's another person, Coril Singore. He tweeted, this is William Ruto's ally. Ruto was a A man that William Ruto, you know, uh, uh, invited to accompany him to the U.S. visit. He was part of William Ruto's de delegation to the U.S. So, you look at, first of all, this uh, tweet, you see people who have good relations with the president. They have sat on the same table. And now this is what Coril Sigoel said in a tweet. Sorry for that. This is what he said, really. Met Darrell Walk, the president of Ford Foundation and his global and regional leadership team. I expressed the country's appreciation for the foundation six decades of support for social justice and development intervention in Kenya, particularly through civil society. I particularly thanked the foundation for supporting the open government movement globally and in Kenya. I also highlighted Kenya's priority as co-chair of the OGP steering committee for the period of 2023-2024, including promotion, promoting safe and inclusion, inclusive use of technology, and strengthening public trust and participation in governance. Ford Foundation's work in Kenya goes to emphasize the significant place of philanthropies and entities in mobilizing resources critical to realizing SDGs was joined at the meeting by Carol Gaita of Mzalendo Watch. Our OGP civil society led. Now you look at that. That was in February 13th, 2024. Definitely, you look at the relation between William Ruto and Joe Biden, a foundation that is aligned with the Democratic Party of U.S., Joe Biden's party. Then the allegation from William Ruto. Is he claiming that President Joe Biden is now finally 
fighting him using this NGO? Or what is the conclusion? Is he making some noise to President Joe Biden that you see and the US ambassador to Kenya, Mega Wisman? Remember how she has been praising William Ross leadership. Now he's making claims here. Is there a breakup between William Ruto and the US government? Or what is he trying to, trying to tell us? These are seven individuals who are believed to have put William Ruto in the state house against the people's choice. Now, then look at all the statement. I'm a sema, if they were not, um, if they're not going to change, they will be forced out. That means you deport them. But the reality is that there is no any NGO that can respond to that kind of huge protest that is developed in all counties and all sub counties in this country. Youth are tired with their problems. And by the way, if um, there, uh, if if Ford Foundation NGO has been sponsoring this kind of protest, then we can say that indeed this foundation cares for Kenyans more than William Ruto. Even the one who said, reject finance bill, reject this, and they force William Ruto to change all this, dismiss cabinet, then this NGO is close to Kenyans than William Ruto is. But a lot of complication there and mixed reaction. I don't know your views. But let us be in the comment section to continue this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.